The Bomber defends again. Hello, everybody. This is Chewbacca, and I've already previewed this base as a successful Town Hall 8 Clan War defense layout, but in our recent war, it was one starred by a different strategy. I believe the other one um, was a go wipe, and this one is a hog raid. So I wanted to go ahead and show you guys. Um, <clears throat> the defense here and I went ahead and called it the bomber just because of its shape it looks like this is the front with like edges and then like these wings over here and sort of like it just gets thin like with the tail in the back anyway um, let me know if, if this base is working out for you guys and everything let me go ahead and show you guys the replay um, so as you can see it's a hog raid they've got max hogs and everything and a lot of people have been saying that hog raids is the new OP for town hall 8 um, just because the of the ability for um, the poison spells to basically destroy any clan castle composition. Um, this guy though is a little too impatient. He places both of his poison spells at once, which actually does not increase the damage enough. Um, it's better if you take the time to wait and uh, um, put down the spells at different times once the other one is fading, but he decides to put down some wizards anyway. Um, so most people when they attack this base, like I've said before, will try to attack from over here because that's where they, the, it just seems like every time people do, they always fail. Um, so I wanted to go ahead and laugh at that again. Um, but as you can see, he's not too worried about, um, you know, he sees that the walls and these towers are so close together, but he sort of forgot about my king because he's just going to wail on those hogs like there's no tomorrow. And these hogs up here just activated the skeleton traps, which they won't target for quite a while. And as you can see, that whole raid is gone. That was one of the big bombs, did a good bit of damage, but he did have the heal spell there. Um, but now he's out of spells. He's basically hoping that nothing happens, and then he hits all those traps, and then, ba-boom! There goes the remainder of his hogs. And that is a pretty great layout there, um, and much an unanticipated placement for those traps um, but works out because of the Tesla um, and as you can see he's got this sort of last ditch effort over here on the side without the king um, he figures he, that he can get his way to the middle and at least be out of the reach of any of the defenses and so uh, his king takes out that Tesla but look the king goes all the way up there to that Tesla instead of reaching down here with these wizards and now I'm sure seven attacker guy is really hoping and thinking I'm gonna two star but look his wizards go on this large journey all the way over to where the king is rather than just breaking some walls and going for the town hall and that right there just cracks me up if you ever have a complaint about game mechanics as far as what determines where your troops go that's gotta be a bit the biggest complaint I've ever seen yet um, what a strange um, occurrence there um, but works out in our favor and there goes the kings at each other and is it just me or does it always seem like the defending hero is much stronger than your hero they were both town hall I mean they were both level 10 kings um, but of course uh, the defending king ends up bringing this attack to a close and that is another successful defense by the bomber layout so hope you guys enjoyed this video until next time see you guys later